I'm here to optimize your keybinds in World of Warcraft. This is probably the most excited I've been for a video. I love keybinds probably too much. I think about them too much. I get made fun of by my friends for how much I think of keybinds. And I'm here to share that with you guys and hopefully change up your game, shake things up here, and take your game to the next level, make it more fun, all that kind of stuff. What I'm trying to do here with this channel. So super simply to quickly show you, moving around on this demon hunter, I flick the mouse wheel forward, I jump forward. I flick the mouse wheel backwards, I jump backwards. I press a button with my pinky and I jump over here. I press a button again. I I jump over there. I go through my rotation easily on the keyboard as I'm pressing all of the buttons without moving my hand whatsoever. And everything I do is very intuitive as I jump over here and then hold down that shift. Remember I scrolled mouse wheel forward and I jump forward, I hold down shift and now I do the same thing with a different ability that takes me forward. But before I get carried away with myself, what buttons are the best ones to keybind? Whenever you're doing your keybinds, a lot of the times you probably have buttons that shouldn't be in places, in places they shouldn't be, if that makes sense. We're gonna show four different tiers of keybinds and you can check your own keybinds right now and see if you have things in places they really shouldn't be. And I highly encourage you to try, shake things up, move things around and put them in a spot that might feel weird and uncomfortable because you're used to it and don't let that be an excuse because I'm used to something that's not optimal. Trust me, embrace it for a week, maybe two weeks and you'll be like, oh my God, this is great. So we're going to be talking about the keyboard and all the different key bindings and the different tiers involved. Tier one key binds are going to be very top tier key binds, something having to do with your rotation, very important buttons you press with high stakes to them, like an interrupt or something. An interrupt you don't press all the time, but when you need to press it, oh man, do you need to press it quickly. We're going to work our way through the tiers all the way to tier four being extremely situational things that you should maybe not even bind in the first place. But in general, I do have everything bound and I heavily believe in keybinds in general. So we're going to go through the tiers, talk about what each thing goes where, but first we got to talk about something, the elephant in the room here. A lot of you are probably using WASD for your keys, and that is just empirically wrong. I don't hate me for it, and I have a whole video talking about why you should move your keybinds over to ESDF. If you don't have them on ESDF, it's okay. In this video, I'm going to be talking about both. I use ESDF, and I highly recommend for you to check out that video if you don't believe me. But if you also see I'm holding my hands on the keyboards like I'm typing, and you put the little, the little knobs are on F and J, uh, where's my hand? It's on ESDF, and that just makes way more sense. And look at what my pinky can do here with Q, A, and Z. Look at all the buttons I can press without moving my hands off of the buttons. That's another key concept here going into tier one of these buttons. Tier one buttons are things I can press without moving my hands. These three fingers on these three buttons are very important. And if I go to press an ability, now I can't move strafe to my right. Also for the record, your movement should be forward, backward, strafe, left, strafe, right. Just also for the record. That's also taken care of in that video. But anyway, having this pinky freed up for Q, A, and Z is also great. Compared to WASD, what's my pinky doing? I can hit tab and caps and and that that's about it. Maybe control, but that's really a stretch and I usually press control with the base of my palm like this anyway. But I have bigger hands to each their own. Right now we're going into the tier list. Here's the tier one keybinds. Your tier one, if you're using ESDF, your tier one keys are A, Q, W, R, T, and G. All of my key rotation abilities are here. Usually my rotation abilities are on W, R, T, and G. So if you do have the other movement set up where you have W, A, S, D, that would just shift everything over. In fact, what I'll do for the sake of this video is I'll make another graphic for you guys and the people that use W, A, S, D, and I'll put it right here. So you can see green is tier one and what you have access to. So for myself, it's gonna be this. Now for the other people that use WASD, everything's going to be shifted over one. So your keybinds are going to be Q, E, R, and F. So either way, tier one keybinds are the things you would use your rotation for. I, in general, my main buttons on my rotation are right here. Your pointer finger is far more dexterous than any of your other fingers. Going back to the keyboard here for a second, you can see this is very easy to do. This finger has a lot of mobility. This ring finger, very limited. Just W right here is what it is. A lot of times what I do here is if I have a rotation where there's something where I have a builder and a spender, a ying and a yang back and forth, I will have one of those be something over here and another one be over here. So for a death knight, Death Strike is over here. Soul Cleave over here. Something that's slightly situational and that I don't spam a lot. I keep all spammable things over here with my with my pointer finger. Things I'm going to be smashing on. And the ring finger is a little bit more situational for that W. Now for my WASD people, that's it. You don't get Q and A. But if you do want to do ESDF and try that out, you also get Q and A to come online. I like to have A and Q be a little bit more situational things that are very, very 
important. For tanks, damage dealers, healers, whoever, I like to have A and Q be things that I do want to use off cooldown, but they have a little bit of a longer cooldown. I used to put A on things that spam, but you will break your pinky and get carpal tunnel in your pinky uh, if you have any sort of spammable thing on there with your pinky. It is very convenient and it's very nice to have it right here, but I usually tend to do things that have somewhat of a cooldown longer than 15 seconds on A and Q, so I'm not spamming it too much with my little old pinky. Uh, I used to also put movement things here. I'm a big fan of having movement abilities on A and Z and X, these abilities. I like to have movement stuff because if I'm moving with my fingers here, my pinky is freed up to also do movement stuff. And it's a little counterintuitive to bind movement keys, like a blink or a sprint or a dash of some kind, to a thing where you have these three fingers down. I don't want to move my hand to press a movement thing to then go back to move. You know what I'm saying? But I also might like to put movement type of things on a mouse because my hand is available, my pinky's available because I don't want to move those fingers off. Another set of tier one keybinds are on your mouse. These front six keybinds. Now, again, if you have any mouse buttons on your mouse, uh, I highly recommend for you to have at least two buttons on your mouse. The absolute minimum is those mouse. I used them for years where you just had two buttons on the side. I used that for eight years of playing World of Warcraft, just two buttons on that interrupts, movement abilities, key different things that you really want to feel like you really need to use. For myself, that front button was always interrupt and that back button was always some sort of mobility thing. You also have shift modifiers, but we'll talk about that in a second because we're, we are at tier one here. Another tier one is mouse wheel scroll forward and back. I know it's bound to the camera zooming in and out. I, I know. I went over a whole video about a way that how to move the game for beginners and I, I please beg them to get rid of the zooming your camera in and out and scrolling. You just don't need to. Why would I need to want to scroll my camera in and out. I can always move. If I'm in a tight space, my camera moves along and hits against the walls and stuff. Why do I need to zoom my camera in and out? I've also bound it on my keyboard to have different camera settings here and there that I can zoom around if I want to be zoomed in for whatever reason. But I have literally in over 10 years, I don't even know how long I've played this game. I've never needed to scroll my mouse wheel forward really fast. And if you really want to be able to scroll your mouse wheel forward, have it be an alt modifier, alt scroll wheel forward, control scroll wheel forward, something, and then that can be your zoom camera if you really need it. Mine is page up and page down on my keyboard. Anyway, so there's the big picture. These are all of your high priority. Again, my ASDVF people look up here. My WASD people look right there. And then everybody's mouse is the same. There you go. On the mouse, I use those front, that front row of three and that next row of three all the time. That bottom row specifically, the ones on the very bottom, that's where I put my interrupts in the very front because my thumb and my hand rest there. Certain abilities, I move my thumb to the top. I can press those easy, those easy, all that kind of stuff. It's super simple. Now going to the next tier two. Here we go now. You see what things are we're looking at now we had all these green around around the hand we had all this green around the hand. and if you notice these three buttons are in orangish yellow and this is an orangish yellow that means shift modifier shift r shift t shift g are also i'd say tier two now yes it has a shift modifier and that does kind of slow things down because you have to press a button and then press another button but r t and g are just such a high tier binding Holding down shift on the opposite side of your hand, using your pinky to press those is super simple. And again, for my WASD people, here's your image. It's the same thing. It's shift E, shift R, and shift F. And if you're really comfortable with your ring finger, you could also do a shift W type situation. I have this as a, like a class racial ability type of situation. Again, not worth it me for putting on here. Maybe it's a tier three, you could say. For myself, I tend to use tanking cooldowns. That's for all of my characters. Every single one of my character, which is a concept I'm going to talk about in another keybind video of having all of your characters have a theme to them. All of my tanking cooldowns, shield wall, all of that kind of stuff, or ice block for my mage. All of these things are shift R, shift T, and shift D. Shit's hitting the fan. I hold down shift and I press one of these buttons. But now for these other buttons here, before we talk about the mouse buttons, I will get to that. Three, four, and five are really nice. Two and one back here is a little bit harder to reach. I'll show them a hand in a second. Z is very nice. V is very nice. And caps lock. Don't be afraid to bind caps lock, people. Here, let me show you. On my keyboard, personally, I have a macro keyboard type situation. I have macroed it to where this is caps lock and this is tilde. Uh, I This is like a, a opi ring for my hearthstones and stuff. Very rarely do I press this. And if I do, I kind of just press it again to uncaps lock myself. Because it is really annoying if you have something bound to this caps lock button and you press it. And then every time you do, you just randomly start screaming screaming and caps at people. That's very annoying. So I've switched these two so that caps is like I press tilde. So you just go into a macro settings in your keyboard, switch the command for when you press this, it's actually tilde. And when you press this, it's actually caps lock. It's very simple to do if you have a macro keyboard. But now this is a very nice button. Literally my hand sits here on the keyboard and now it's there. And for you WASD people, wow, it's just literally right there. 
And also you WASD people do not get Z access because that is technically not, Z is technically X if you see how the whole keyboard shifts over. You'll see where your Z comes in here in a second. But back to these buttons, you can see here that three, four, five and V, three, four, five is very simple to press. Three, I press three with my middle finger, I just shift it up. It's literally the only time my middle finger leaves that E button. This is my home base. Everything, I, I keep E held down all the time so I can know where my hand's at on the keyboard. Because sometimes I'm pressing things all over the place, but at least I literally could glue this middle finger to that E button, except for three. I press three for it and it is my heal, my, my instant heal type of desperate prayer for uh, priests. Any sort of heal type thing is what I've done. I've had it be health potion before, whatever. And then four and five, I press with this, it's very simple to just shut your finger, shunt your finger forward, and then there's four and five. And I'm not even looking at the keyboard, which you shouldn't be looking at the keyboard, but I just know if I put my finger forward, that's four and five right there. And the same way, if I pull my hand back, there's there's my C and V. Now, some people like, might like C better, but I, I know that V is right here, and I, I know I pull my hand out here, G is right here, I slide this over, V is there, so then these are some pretty good buttons. This also could be, a V is like a situational cooldown or like a filler. Four and five in the same kind of way. If I have any sort of builders and spenders where I have like AOE builders, AOE spenders, whatever I'm doing, and I use these certain times, like maybe once every 30 seconds or something like that, uh, or situationally a proc happens, I'm like, boom, four, five, four, five. Caps lock, I like to be another tanking cooldown. It's very simple to just snap it over there and hit it. And I usually have it be connected to what A is. So in general, for my Death Knight, for example, A is dancing rune weapon. I want to use that off cooldown and really keep that thing up. And caps lock is tombstone. And those two abilities are tied to each other because usually you use dancing rune weapon and then you explode with tombstone right back to next to each other. But that's a concept for another video. So now to bring the mouse into the picture here for the another set of the tier two is shift scroll up and down. In the same way I just showed on my Demon Hunter, scroll forward, jumps me forward. Shift scroll forward, shoots me forward with another ability that's another forward dashing type thing. Makes a lot of sense. I also love the feeling of cooldowns, uh, trinket uses being shift scroll down. I used to have all, all of my characters had, if I held down shift and scrolled up and down, just like just real quick, scroll up down, it popped all my cooldowns for my character and all my damage abilities were on and rolling. Now that I normally tank, I usually don't do that and I have it be a little bit more situational things or, an, or a tanking cooldown possibly. And all the back Back buttons on the mouse, those back two rows are also buttons that are a tier two type of buttons. They might get a little weird to press, which is why I have them on tier two, but they are very easy to press. Myself personally, that back row, the very farthest, furthest back row, I have that be mount, raid target markers, and my actual map. So if I wanna mount, if I wanna mount up, I just click that mouse button right there at the very back, I mounted. If I wanna pull up my ring and I wanna mount this, it's also that middle mouse button. If I wanna pull up the ring and put a raid target marker on something, I can easily do that with a simple mouse button press. Or if I wanna open my quest log, I can do that too. You get it, Drakthir, keep training, buddy. So there's your big picture of tier two, different things that you have, not the highest, most optimal, but the, Next best. Things with a little bit of a cooldown on them. Things are a little bit more situational as we keep going through the list. Now we got tier three. Look at this. We got all the buttons that we didn't have before. We have all these RT. All of these have already been used up, and now we're getting a little bit weirder. Now you see where I ha imagine where your what your hands having to do. Here we go. We talked about that shift W. Shift W. It's a little weird to do shift and W. It's a little bit of a stretch with your fingers to do shift W. Shift V. It's a little bit of a stretch in, in comparison to the very natural position of these other ones. One and two. It's a little bit of a stretch for you have to reach up that ring finger, not as dexterous as that pointer finger. And now we have that X and C underneath ourselves and now we bring in the WASD people and you can see yours too. In general, for these lower buttons down here, I don't like to pull my hand down off of the keys. It feels weird and I have to pull my hands back up. It's just, it's very much easier for me to slide them back down. That's a, maybe a personal preference for mine, but I've really have uh, tested this for a, a long time. And then the one and two is just a little bit too far on the outside here. Till these too far out of reach, unless you're a WASD person, then you can reach that. You could totally do it. Back when I used to play WASD, Tildy was always my hamstring or slow type of thing when I played my warrior back in vanilla. But now one and two for me personally, one is always health stone, two is always health potion. And like I said earlier, three is always my instant heal for myself. Really stay tuned for the channel, subscribe, turn on the bell, all that kind of stuff. I have another video coming out for all this different types of stuff to talk about the theory of keybinds of what you should put your buttons on. Hopefully this video gets you to put in the right places because if you have an ability of one of your rotational abilities is on a tier two, three, dare I say four, you should move that around. But we'll talk about tips like that at the end of the video. So here's tier two. Now let me show you the keyboard. So this is what I'm talking about. Shift W. It's a little bit of a stretch doing shift and W. It's, it's just not the most comfortable thing. And then pressing two and one, it's a little bit of a tilt of, I have pretty big hands. I'm 6'4". Uh, I, I have decently sized hands and it's still a little bit of a 
huh? And I'm coming up here pressing a two and one like that. And then shift V is honestly not that bad, but I just don't like pulling my hand down. Like I said, if for you, t shift V for you might honestly be a tier two. And for myself, X and C are usually very situational things. For me, V, like the regular button V, is usually a dispel of some kind, consume magic, uh, cleanse, anything like that. C is usually a, a very much more situational version of that. So like soothe or hibernate or something that I barely use. X is usually something that has to do with mobility because usually I have Z and maybe A be mobility type things. So X is right next to Z and it makes a lot of sense. So for my monk, Z is my forward roll and X is my movement speed buff. And don't worry, I didn't forget about the mouse. Here's the mouse in the corner. The tier three is middle mouse click. Middle mouse click, you can totally have be a button. I would be very careful depending on your mouse though because sometimes if you go to middle mouse click, it could accidentally scroll forward or backward. And depending on the type of things you have for scroll forward, and backward, it might not be a good thing. So I am in general very careful with, with middle mouse button and shift middle mouse button. I put both of those at tier three. I try not to use them too much. They are for myself trinkets. They're both of my trinkets. So trinket number one is middle mouse button. Trinket number two is shift middle mouse button. So if I'm in PVP, middle mouse button is my PVP trinket and the shift middle mouse button is my damage cooldown, but it's usually that my damage trinket's usually tied in a macro in some way to something else. And I'll also throw this recommendation out there. If for your mouse wheel scrolls, try not to put any sort of spammable abilities. Uh, I had a druid, a restoration druid one time, and I put his heal over times on mouse wheel scroll. So all I was doing is just mousing over people and just scrolling my finger around and my mouse wheel broke within the week. <laughs> so keep those spammable things in the tier one button. So now tier four. This should just make sense. As you have the ESDF or WSD, let's go ahead and put the WSD up right now. As you have this centered on your hand, as you get further and further away, the tiers go down, right? So Tildy, very hard to reach. 6YHB, very hard to reach. And there's no mouse buttons for this one, so this is all you're looking at for the tier fours. Uh, for myself, I do have uh, B, used to be my mount for years, uh, over 10 years, B was my mount. And it was very simple. I loved B being my mount. Another quick thing, uh, shift space bar, I've heard people do as their mount before. I do like that. Some people in my community would do live streams have talked about that. I personally don't like to have shift space bar bound to anything because I don't want, I want to be able to jump while holding a shift modifier. And I have, I have shift modifier, so I, that makes me nervous. But anyway, uh, B has been my mount. H is usually my highly situational thing that you never ever press. So for a protection pattern, it would be a flash heal. For a druid, it would be Mark of the Wild. Warrior as a battle shout. Something that you literally don't want to have to go click, but you never really press in combat ever. Y is actually not too bad. It's a little bit of a stretch, uh, but that's my extra extra attack or extra action button that you get whenever you pick up something or do whatever. Sometimes in World of Warcraft, there's that action action extra action button that pops up. That's hard to say. That's my extra action button. Six is bound to nothing for me. I don't bind that to nothing. And then Tildy right here is actually bound. I'll show you. Tildy is bound to my Hearthstone Opie. I have a, a video coming out next week or so for Opi and what this thing is. So I press tilde and it brings this up and I can use a Hearthstone or Dollar and Hearthstone or Wormhole Generator or whatever. All right, so here's the big picture of what you wanted. Now, again, some of these things overlap here like Shift W, Shift RTG are these types of things overlap a little bit. So this is a little bit of a simplification, but a big picture. Hopefully you can see why things are the way they are. My hand is sitting here in the middle for movement. So these buttons are tier one. These buttons are are tier two, not the purple because it's really hard to pull your hand straight back down. It's just uncomfortable. So your pinky comes down and get this, your pointer finger comes down to get this, your pointer fingers range of motion is very good to be able to get those. That makes sense. You also have caps lock and shift commands come online then. Purple, these the tier three fills in right here and this kind of gets the big picture around your hand and then the red fills out the edges. And here you go, WASD people. Don't forget, I didn't forget about you. It's okay. You can have an unoptimized setup. You're fine. You need all the help you can get. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. I really just <laughs> it's I feel passionate about that too. Watch the video if you want to see me rant about that. But and then also the mouse. Here's the mouse buttons in general, having the scrolling ability, having the mouse buttons, all that stuff. And you don't have to have 12 mouse buttons. It is very nice. I do highly recommend it but it's not necessary whatsoever. Because if you bind things efficiently, you're not gonna have to worry about all these certain key bindings. Because if you really know, I'm gonna put my most important ones here, least important ones here. And if you start to open up, maybe there's some key binds here I've talked about in this video that you're not currently using. Maybe you have things like X, C, and V bound to things like character, like the default is C, is your character control panel. If you just don't bind your character control panel, put anything over here. Any of these buttons can totally be whatever you want them to be as far as interface option panels. 
The default button R is reply in chat. That should not be bound like that in that way. You get the idea of, of if you can efficiently bind things, then you don't need as many mouse buttons on your mouse. And overall, you're just going to have a better time playing this game. So I truly hope that this video helped you and it opened your mind up to how I can start binding my abilities. Look at this screen and look and think about what, what do you have on these? What buttons do you have in certain places? What combinations are you using? Do you have things you should be putting on this tier one? Or in your mind, has your always been one, two, three, four, five? All my abilities are on one, two, three, four, five. That's really not as optimal. I was six years into playing this game using one, two, three, four, five when I was like, you know what? Let me use these tier one down here. And my God, it's so much better. You will get used to it. You will love it. I promise. If not, try it for a week, two weeks. And if you don't love it, you can come back, dislike the video and, and tell me all about it. But I really do hope that this helped you think outside the box with your game and take it to another level. Have more fun. Optimize. That's what I'm all about here. Stay creative. Think outside the box. Outside the box of these macros. <laughs> macros. Keybinds. Peace.